briefly demonstrate the installation of the SilicoFlex bridge expansion joint system. For today's demonstration, we will be bonding our SilicoFlex SF225 seal, which has a movement range of two and a quarter inches. It will close down to three quarters of an inch and open to three inches. And we will bond it to a concrete, elastomeric concrete and steel joint interface. We set the joint opening at two and three quarters of an inch. The materials you'll need at the job site, you have the gland seal, a uh, alcohol-based solvent, not an oil-based solvent, so we would recommend the denatured alcohol. Uh, the SilicoFlex locking adhesive is a 20-ounce tube. The two-part epoxy primer, a pneumatic or handheld caulking gun, popsicle sticks, paintbrush, screwdriver, and a uh, blade to cut the uh, tube of adhesive. So we want to make sure that the temperature is 40 degrees and rising with no forecast of rain. And the first step we would do is sandblast the joint, sandblast the concrete or steel joint interface. After it's sandblasted, we would want to blow out the uh, area, make sure there's no sand or dirt or debris. Then we would use the denatured alcohol and wipe down the joint interface. In addition to that, we'd use our denatured alcohol to wipe down the gland seal. The next step would be to prime the concrete or steel joint interface. We have a two-part epoxy primer mixed at a one-to-one -one ratio. And you would mix that together for about 30 seconds. And apply it to the concrete interface with a brush. Paint it on the light coating. You don't want to put too much primer. After you paint on the primer, you would wait approximately 15 minutes for the primer to set up and then install the uh, silicone flex. We want to apply a approximately 3 8 inch bead of silicone directly on the concrete, about 2 inches below the riding surface. It's important to go slow, no more than 5 feet at a time. You want to make sure it's a continuous bead with no air pockets. After the first bead of locking adhesive, gland seal, fold it like an inverted V, and place it in the joint. And 
and push it down so the top of the seal sits a half inch below the writing surface. That first bead of silicone adhesive will provide a sheer shelf of adhesive. need to be careful that it's nice and straight and a half inch below the riding surface across the entire joint. After the joint is put in place, we put a second bead of silicone on the top of the gland seal. Again, it's a three inch bead of adhesive. You'll notice on the gland seal there's serrations on each end. You place the bead of adhesive up to the top serration. You don't want to go any higher. After the second bead of adhesive is applied, you would come back with a popsicle stick and tool that adhesive to make sure that there are no air pockets or bubbles. And you don't have too much adhesive on each side. After you've tooled the second bead of locking adhesive a couple times to make sure there's no air pockets or bubbles and that it's sealed correctly, we will want to wait for approximately one hour before you open the lane to traffic. Thank you for your time.